In this video we will create this rising arrows animation that you see on the screen inside of After Effects. Let's go! Here we are inside of After Effects. We'll start by selecting Pen Tool, turn off the fill. So I alt click on this, alt click on Stroke, I turn on the Stroke and then I just draw a shape. So something like that. If you make any type of mistake, press Ctrl Z to undo. I'll press Enter, rename this to Line. I'll make this fit to the screen. I'll go to Rectangle tool, click and hold, go to Star tool. While holding Shift, we draw a star like that. I turn this stroke off for the star, so I'll click on this, I'll click on Fill. I make sure that I fill this. I want to center the anchor point of this, so I'll press Ctrl Alt Home, center it, go to Polystar Path 1 here, change the points to 3, so it turns into a triangle. We'll rename this to Arrow, press Enter to rename, close the settings, go to Line Options, go to Contents, Shape 1, Path 1, and copy this path. Ctrl C to copy, go to the beginning, Ctrl C to copy open the settings for arrow, close the settings for contents, transform and paste it here to position, Control v to paste. So now they move together, but it doesn't move as it should, so we right click here, go to transform and choose auto orient, orient along path and it still doesn't look like it's working, we need to rotate this, go to the beginning and just rotate this. Let's see if it works now, looking fine. We'll close the settings. Now we want to animate the line here. So we open the settings for line, go to add and add trim pass. Open the settings, go to the beginning and set a keyframe on end, change it to 0, go to 3 seconds and change it to 100 now. Now we want to match this together, so we go to arrow, press U to view the keyframes and change this last keyframe, go to 3 seconds. While holding ALT, we move this here to 3 seconds, so now they should move together. And now we wanna close the settings, right click here, go to new, null object, press enter to rename this to camera, we can animate the camera now. So here at the beginning we press P, select the camera layer, null layer, we parent this together actually, so select arrow and line, parent it to camera. Set a keyframe on it at the beginning, move to one second here and just move the Y position like that. Move a little forward and move the Y position of camera again. And to repeat this process until it gets to the end. So something like that, let's have a look. It suddenly gets faster, so we can just delete this. We'll go to 2 seconds, we'll make it animate once every second. So now we can move this camera here, go to 3 seconds, and then move it like that.